Hey you guys, it's me Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to go through my empties with you because um, if I don't, I'll just have a bunch of trash all over my desk. So um, I got through quite a bit of stuff. Um, this isn't really divided very well by vendors, but let me see what I can do about that. I'll start with Scentsy. Um, okay, so um, I did the lights out from the Catching Z's collection and on cold this smells probably like my least favorite of the collection. It's a little musky. I'm guessing it has sandalwood in it. Um, but it's, it's a okay scent. The problem is I put three cubes, okay? Three full cubes in my 25 volt warmer in my bedroom and I couldn't smell it. Like, honestly, I could not smell it at all. Um, so that would not be a repurchase. Um, I did Stitch, I did two of these, Experiment um, 624, and this has a very aquatic note. Um, the primary note is something called cyclamen, which is like, um, like kind of a dewy grass kind of situation. And I like this. The thing is, my nose reads still, um, I've, I've melted it before in the past and this came back. It reads a little bit waxy to me, like I actually can smell that it's a wax product, which I don't really like. The, the other notes are really pretty, so the like kind of aquatic dewy green with like a little hint of sweetness is really pretty. Um, it's a super great performer, but my nose kind of interprets that wax scent or smells that, which I don't like. And so for me, I, it's not a love, um, but I certainly understand why people do love it. Um, I got through some more bars of pink sugarberry mint. This was the scent of the month um, last month. And I actually really like this one. Um, in my Scentsy Club right now, I have sugar and pink haze. And then I put this in my Scentsy Club too. Um, so this is like cotton, this is like a cotton candy scent um, with a little bit of fruit. And it says it has mint and I actually do pick up just the slightest hint of mint, not a lot. And um, when I say mint, it reads like a almost bubblegummy mint to me, um, not off-putting at all. Um, so I got through two of these. I have decided that I'm going to edit down my sugar scents in my Scentsy Club. So, and I really use these upstairs for my girls because they're real girly, um, the scents and my kids, but I mean, I mean the scents. Um, and so I, um, I asked them to smell sugar and then I asked them to smell this and they picked this. They prefer this scent to sugar. So um, sugar will be coming out of my club and I'll be keeping this in. Um, and when I get my club, it should be shipping sometime, hopefully this week. Um, I'll let them compare that to um, to Pink Haze and see which one wins. So we'll see, I'll keep you posted on that. And then I did Welcome Summer. I thought I did two, but maybe just one. This is another thing that is in my Scentsy Club. It is daisies, um, and maybe that's like the, the primary floral note that I get is daisies. It is a floral that, um, to me is a little fruity, but more like a green, not a green, like an aquatic-y green note, um, and, and a floral. This is a really lovely scent. It was a scent of the month last year and I really enjoyed it. So I added it to my club. Um, I, it's kind of a generic -y floral, but it's one of those ones that's not too like grandma, like people, I love florals. And so this is like my jam, but people that are shied away from florals, um, but like kind of Luna, kind of a sweet perfumey kind of floral. This one is very similar in my mind to that style. It does not smell like Luna. It's not Luna's, you know, um, compatriot. It is, it is a different scent, but it does have the kind of sweetness and perfumey quality that Luna has um, in a different style of floral. So I do really like this one. And then I finished Cinderella, um, Happily Ever After. This is definitely floral. This is more, um, if you're gonna call grandma floral, grandma floral. This is like peony and probably rose and maybe some jasmine. It is very heavy floral, 
The thing about it is it's super light. So I put three cubes in my bedroom. I was able to smell it, so it's not like the lights out um, one. I could smell it, um, but it it's not like overpowering floral. It's just kind of a nice whisper of floral. So if you're scared of floral, but you're ready to try full on floral, this one would be it. Um, because of the performance, like I do want kind of a more boomer scent. I wouldn't pick this up just because of performance, but the smell is, is decent. And I believe that's all my Scentsy. Um, I got through some, um, Sensational. So this one is called Cloudburst from the Texas collection. And on cold, this smells, um, like, um, raindrops and almost like a masculine note. Um, I, this is six cubes. I put it in my open concept. Usually Walmart wax performs super well, six cubes in my open concept. This one got really lost. The smell on cold is beautiful, but it did really get lost. I, I couldn't smell it, um, very well. It was just like hints, um, and usually I get two days of performance from Walmart Wax in my open concept. This was a one day or for me. But this one was really good, Rain Lily. Um, and this is Lily. And I actually get almost like a berry note, like probably raspberry um, with just a hint of raindrops. Um, and this one was really pretty. It is very, it does read very floral, but again, I like florals. And it held up in the open concept with the six cubes um, and was two day melt, so it was very nice. Um, I did this, Strax Acid Bath um, from L3, and that's Boogie Be Gone, Peppermint, and Rosemary Mint. This is the first time I have ever melted a scoopable. I have scoopables. This was my first melted scoopable. And if you are new to vendors, um, scoopable wax is just super soft wax that you kind of dig out with a spoon. Um, L3 is known for her, um, Jennifer is her name, is known for her scoopable formula. I, so if you watch YouTube videos, I'm sure if you're watching me, you do, you watch other people. Lots of people seem to have lots of headaches, right? Like people are always saying like, this is a headache melt, or I put this on when I'm having a bad headache day. And I don't, I don't have headaches very often. Like I'm, I don't have migraines. My family doesn't, we're not, we're pretty non headachey non sick sick people but i got my second covid shot and i'm i'm not in, like i'm not discouraging people from not getting it um i it i was fine i didn't feel very bad my only thing was that i had this like headache for several days at a t like for several days and it wouldn't go, go away and they said like not to take medicine to kind of let your body fight that so i was not taking medicine but i decided to put this on and it was exactly what i needed it is super, super duper strong peppermint. And Boogie Be Gone, I'm thinking is kind of like a Vicks Vapo rub, like eucalyptus mint situation also, and rosemary mint. And this is a powerhouse. Like I can smell this, like I can taste this from here without it even warming. Like it is super strong. I would, this would definitely be a repurchase. If I run out of this, I will ask for it because it was that good to me. Um, it was really like that good and that totally worth it for me. Um, it wasn't in my melting basket, but I was like, I need, I'm going to try this whole, like when you have a headache, melt the peppermint. It was amazing. Um, another thing I did from L3 is eight crazy nights. And this is like one of those scents that people rave about. Like people love this one. And I got, I did one full bunt and it is blackberry jelly, fried dough, and a hint of campfire smoke totally get why people rave about this. This is a beautiful, beautiful scent. Um, it, her blackberry to me is almost a florally back blackberry. It's not super sharp and bright, um, fruity blackberry. And I'm not a super fruity girl. So I really like that. Um, but you totally get the fried dough. Like it smells like a donut and I don't get a lot of the smoke note, but this is beautiful. I understand the hype. So this would be a repurchase for me. Yeah, I, it was good. Um, I think that's all my L3. I, I'm like so embarrassed to even admit this, but um, I had these two Yankee tarts and I have to say like, I think that these things are older than maybe my kids. Like my oldest is 11 and I can't remember buying them. Like it's been 
so long. I remember we moved with them and I, we've been in this house for 10 years. So this one was daffodil and um, it's a florally kind of situation. It's just like one of those little tarts. Um, the consistency of the wax was super old. So it was like kind of crumbly. Um, and I would say that for 10 year old plus wax, I could still kind of smell it in this room. Um, I mean, I could still smell it. So, I mean, that to me is props. This one, vanilla cupcake, I could super smell in this room. Like I was, I was very surprised. I can still almost smell it in here too. Like it was, it's very generic vanilla oil to me. I, I didn't get like a cake note. It was very vanilla, but I could definitely smell it. And like I said, for 10 plus year old wax, I mean, that's like a bargain really. Um, you guys know I'm trying to get through my Whiff Envy. I did vanilla buttercream. This is just generic vanilla. It has almost, so buttercream normally to me is like vanilla and then butter and like kind of just sweetness. This almost had a sour note to me. Um, I did not like it. I would pass on that. Um, I did finish this, which is Namaste right here. And this was, when I when I melted it originally, I really liked it. Um, I remember really liking it. Um, and, you know, like I got it before I knew what good packaging was, so I had kept it in here. Um, it was like sandalwood, mm, maybe some like Egyptian musk or regular musk. It was all right. Um, I think that probably a lot of the scent dissipated because of the storing, um, partly on me, partly on her. So it was okay. I mean, it was okay. And then spa day, these were little piggies. And this was, was floral in like the worst cheap way. The little shapes were super cute. I have to say the shapes were cute. My, my daughter loves pigs, but, um, the scent was a pass for me. Then I did some rose girls. I mixed rain and herbal lavender. Um, and I did this upstairs. I really like her rain. Actually, it's, it's really good. I really do like her rain. Um, it's kind of almost salty, not salty sea air, but just a little bit kind of got that twang stuff to the, to the rain. Her herbal lavender is super herbal. And, um, it, it almost has like a medicinal quality to it. Um, and with the rain, I thought like, great. My kids, I put it upstairs and my kids were like, where does that smell? Because the herbal lavender really took over. If you like herbal lavender, hers is really strong. Like, um, her rain is like a medium, but this is a super big boomer. Um, it lasted a really long time and it's, it's super strong with one melt. So, um, if that's your jam, it, it was really, you know, it was really strong for what it was. And then I did a chunk muffin in cu cucumber rain zen and on cold. It smelled great. I put it in my open concept um, and it really got lost. Um, the, mo the, the only note I really got was the cucumber note, which I like, but it was really light. Very, very, very light. Um, the scent was really pretty, so I might... Um, try it again just because I really like the scent, but I don't know. Um, okay, so Vintage Chic. This I actually purchased myself. This is the first thing that I purchased, and it's called Ew David, and it's Tom Ford Tobacco Vanilla and Palo Santo, and it's weird. I had asked um, another vendor to, like, when they asked for scent ideas, I was like, oh, could you make something with Tom Ford Vanilla Tobacco? And I guess, like, the, I don't know if this is, like, a known blend. Like, I just had asked for it. So, um, this is beautiful. Like, I love this. I, I really love this. It's not super strong in the warmers. Like, even my husband was like, I can't even really smell it. And he is super sensitive to, to scent. And so he could not, and this was a whole big rose. And I just chopped it into fours and put it in my melters in my open concept. Over the warmers, the scent was gorgeous, but like in the room, you couldn't really smell it unless you were near it. 
but I love the scent so much. I think I have two more like of these flowers. So I'm gonna let them cure a little bit and see if that helps. Um, and then this I got from the D stash um, that you know you guys I've told you about a few times and it's called Nelly Rose's Fresh Strawberry Cobbler. And the notes are fresh strawberry, ice cream, buttery vanilla, fresh rolled dough, gooey batter, and a hint of sugared almonds like you just walked into a bakery. And this one was poured in June, 2020. So less than a year old. People have said you have to let Rose Girls, not Rose Girls, <laughs> Vintage Chic um, cure for a long time. This to me only smells like strawberry, but like it's actually a pretty decent strawberry. It smells to me like strawberry jam. This says strawberry, fresh strawberries and ice cream. I don't get any of those other notes. I don't get um, buttery vanilla, dough, batter. I don't get any of that. All I get is strawberries. It's a very nice strawberry. It lasted a super long time. I put more in. I finished this bag today and put more in here and it's a good strawberry. It's it's mostly like a strawberry jam. It's very bright strawberry, like fresh strawberry with a little bit of sugar. But like I said, um, I would, um, I mean, it's okay. It's not all of those notes, but that's fine. Um, I melted a um, sample of Infinite Wishes from the Bathing Gardens. And if you guys know what, what this is, tell me down below. Um, I am not a crazy Bath and Body Works person. So some of you guys are only love. Like, don't, don't, don't feel like I'm calling you crazy Bath and Body Works people and that that's an insult. I think that this is one of two things. I think this is either um, something called A Thousand Wishes, which is a lush dupe, I think, or some kind of um, Bath and Body Works dupe. I can't really tell. I ordered um, a, a sample from K to see if it matched this, but this is beautiful. I even, I sent an email saying, hey, could you report this? It's really nice. My daughter really loved it. When she smelled it, she's like, please put this in my room. Um, so it, it's very pretty. It's very perfumey, super girly. It's um, it's a really distinctive, like fruity, floral, perfumey scent. It's really, really pretty. So I'm hoping she either repours it or I can figure out what this is. The thing about the bathing gardens is you don't get the scent notes and there's not really a place to find them. So, um... And then the last thing I did was this, which was day 21 from the Advent from Super Tarts, and it's Spun Sugar, Ribbon Candy, and Strawberry Neroli. And this um, is just kind of artificial strawberry and a lot of sugar. Um, it's kind of like cheap, um, you know, like if you get, if you go trick-or-treating and like somebody buys like the cheap candy stuff, like super cheap. Um, it's kind of like that. I didn't like it. Um, it was a big star, so I cut it in half and I put one in this warmer room in my bedroom. It was a, I mean, it, it was a good eight hour throw. Um, but the scent was like really artificial, too sweet, like not my jam. So I didn't do that. Um, so that's everything. Um, I feel like I got through quite a bit. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, comments, or thoughts, I love to chat with you guys. So just like leave them below. Let me know what you think. I have some hauls coming up um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye y'all.